According to this year's ILTA Technology Survey, 50% of big law firms have accelerated their digital transformation efforts within the past year. From accelerated cloud adoption to the deployment of new technology for collaboration, such as Microsoft Teams, this year has brought us a myriad of trends. In fact, if we look closer, we can see some legal trends are moving back to the old normal, while others showcase that firms are embracing change and building to the new normal. So stay tuned as we walk you through the five most important legal tech trends of 2021 and what they mean for 2022 and beyond. Hey everyone, I'm your host Mike Sawissa, content creator ProsperaWare, and for the first time I'm flying solo this episode. That's right, my co-host Blarina has taken the next step in her career journey, and I couldn't be happier for her. Uh, that being said, you'll still be able to hear her in our upcoming episode, uh, Re-Release Special, um, where we'll be speaking with Tina Harkins, our Director of Customer Success here at ProsperaWare. But in the meantime, that just means that uh, I'll be talking to myself for the next 15 minutes or so. Uh, but at least I have all of you. So let's get down to it. Like I said in the opening, 2021 was a watershed year for the legal tech industry, as firms continued to grapple with life following the pandemic. Hybrid work evolved, Microsoft Teams made waves, and firms are starting to take the next steps into the future of legal tech. Speaking of Teams, that brings us to our first trend of the show, the Microsoft Surge. The pandemic expedited the digital transformation efforts across industries for many organizations, including the legal one. As many firms struggled to adapt to the initial remote workforce and then the hybrid workforce, Microsoft Teams provided the solution. In fact, Microsoft Teams experienced a tremendous surge in 2021. Looking at the numbers, we see that the amount of firms using Microsoft Teams as their unified communication technology rose from 4% in 2020 to 36% in 2021 easily becoming the most leveraged communication platform for law firms. The ILTA Tech survey shows us that firms are rapidly deploying MS Teams to support the need to connect employees working from home, remotely, or both. Keeping with the theme of Microsoft Teams, our second trend for 2021 was learning how Teams prosper. With Microsoft Teams being one of the leading communication and collaboration platforms for law firms, it also raised plenty of provisioning challenges. With employees working from home, collaborating with other teams and external parties, the amount of data chaos skyrocketed for organizations this year. Firms that didn't address this issue opened themselves up to massive privacy and security risks, as well as regulatory penalties. Considering the COVID pandemic has walked hand in hand with the cyber pandemic, firms decided to take action in 2021. More than ever, firms began seeking help from outside provisioning vendors instead of attempting to solve the issue in-house. Here at ProsperaWare, we have created CAM to help teams provision matters across multiple collaboration systems. This helps firms provision matters automatically instead of utilizing a time-consuming manual provisioning model. With ProsperaWare CAM, firms get to provision, classify, protect, move, and manage matters across various collaboration systems. All this enables risk management teams to minimize data that is no longer needed, helping to ensure a need-to-know governance framework. It also helps end users find content quickly, streamlining their internal and external collaboration efforts. Whether it's through CAM or another vendor on the market, law firms have been getting their provisioning help from the pros, and that's a good thing, especially in the wake of our third trend, the march to the cloud. In years past, the cloud hasn't always been the first choice of law firms when it comes to storing their files. But that seems to be changing. At first glance, we see that in 2020, 3% of firms said that they used the cloud to save files. In 2021, that number has jumped up to 13%. This 10% increase seems to be the result of a philosophical change among law firms. If we look at the data for large law firms with 700 or more lawyers, we find that 17% say they are already mostly in the cloud, 50% say they use the cloud with every upgrade, and 31% are considering migrating to the cloud, while only 3% say they are not yet comfortable using cloud services. This data actually maps out pretty similarly across other law firm sizes, with law firms under 50 lawyers actually having almost identical data. This is a good sign for the legal industry, 
as it shows firms from top to bottom are slowly making their way to the cloud. I imagine with the iManage end of life announcement giving most firms a hard deadline of 2023 to get their data to the cloud that will only see these numbers continue to grow. Between moving to the cloud, adopting new technology, and collaborating on documents between systems, the last two years have opened up new possibilities for law firms. However, with new possibilities also comes new concerns. And that leads us to our fourth trend of 2021, risk management is still a major concern. The importance of risk management in firms is crucial to ensure a smooth and safe workflow for employees and clients alike. Additionally, neglecting risk connected to privacy, cybersecurity, and compliance implications can cost your firm money and reputational damage. That's why risk management teams and security compliance deserve attention and investment. 30% of firms saw risk management as an issue in 2018, but less of an issue in 2019 and 2020. This downward trajectory would change following the pandemic as 31% of firms now express concerns on the issue. According to the survey, this has mostly been expressed as an issue by larger firms with 50 lawyers or more. These firms must pay extra attention to risk and compliance because of the volume of work and the magnitude of their clients, and the implication that comes with mishandling such information. Luckily, there are more solutions than ever now available on the market and even provisioning tools like Prospera or Cam can also ensure your data is safe and protected in the case of a blackout. Given the whirlwind of the past few years, it's easy to forget that change doesn't always happen this quickly. In fact, we often find that new technologies and solutions actually take longer to be adopted by users than their organizations themselves. That brings us to our final trend. Change is still slow, but it's just around the corner. The last few years have seen a major rise in the rate of adoption of new tech and strategies across the legal industry as firms learn to meet the needs of hybrid work. Yet, according to the ILTA survey, 43% of law firms declared users' acceptance of change as an issue in 2021, and it's surprisingly a number that continues to grow each year. This might also be something that companies noticed with more of the work being done at home and with new technologies that companies didn't necessarily need before. Still, this looks a little concerning and it calls for IT departments to employ and implement systems that will make the life of the everyday user easier. In fact, we at ProsperaWare always say it here, if you have a solution that no one uses, it's not a solution. Well, that wraps up our recap of the 2021 ILTA Tech Survey. Hopefully our listeners are able to bring back some pertinent information to their firm so that they can continue to thrive in this brave new world. We'll be back in a couple weeks with a very special episode for International Women's Day, hosted by some of the amazingly talented women of ProsperaWare and Litera. Until next time, I'm Mike Zwissa, and this is ProsperaTune.